Hi, I'm Trashy. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my new kit, um, especially some of this Jack Pike stuff um, that I've been sent. So, first of all, I had a game about two weeks ago in Dover. Uh, it was quite a heavy uh, woodland area, a lot of thick brush and brambles and things like that. Um, although I didn't know about them at the time, I just knew it was quite a heavy woodland area. So um, I got this. This is Jack Pike's self-adhesive tape. Um, it's kind of like a little sports band-aid that are out at the moment um, and sports supports. It sticks to itself, but it doesn't have any sticky residue on the back. Um, so if you wrap it around your gun or anything, you can take it off and it doesn't leave any marks on the barrel. Um, I was heavily recommended this by a few of my friends that uh, have got air rifles and stuff like that and go hunting. Um, I think it's meant more for um, you know just basic protection of the gun rather than you know any real camouflage. Um, you know it's not going to be like wrapping your gun in any sort of ghillie material. It's not going to give it that heavy woodland uh, look or you know that grass feel. It's just really to protect the gun a little bit. So I wrapped from the um, silencer on my gun uh, down to almost where the magwell was, it's four metres long. It worked quite well, it stuck well originally. Um, I got it onto the field, started playing for about an hour and it became a little bit untangled. But as soon as I lent it on a few items, as soon as I went anywhere near the brambles, as you can see it's uh, ripped to shreds, there's tons of holes in it. Um, it really didn't last very long and by mid-afternoon I'd actually stopped, completely took it off um, and stuck it in a pocket. Um, because it just really didn't work very well at all. It's quite expensive as well. I think it was about six or seven pound, um, including delivery. And there is some better alternatives out there. So, uh, although it's probably great for you to wrap a little bit of kit in, um, if you're carrying a bipod and you don't use it all the time, um, you just want it slung in a bag and you know give it a bit of protection and have it wrapped up and tucked out of the way. This would probably be great for that, or more so might be great for wrapping up kit or um, combining magazines together or something like that. If you're throwing them in a bag and you don't want them to rattle around. Other than that, um, wrapping a gun in it, I'm going to say that if you're in any urban environment where you lean it on anything of you know, brick or metal or anything, probably not a good idea, it's probably not going to protect your gun very well. Um, and at the same time, if you're in an urban, uh, if you're not in an urban environment, you're going to be in some woodland or anything like that, you've got to be worried about catching it on anything. Um, I went near some brambles and as I say, just tore it to shreds. So my alternatives that I got, um, again, I didn't move away from Jack Pipe, they've got a fantastic reputation for um, building real solid go um, goods, especially in the gun community. Um, these aren't real guns, they're not real firearms, but a lot of the time you'll find the products will still fit. So um, I've got this, this is a barrel sleeve, this is from Jack Pike. Um, the camouflage pattern is uh, English Woodland. I'll put a link in the box below for all of these products, just in case you uh, are interested in them. Uh, this is a great addition, it's neoprene, it's quite thick. Um, I've actually lent it on the fence in the garden just to see sort of if it's gonna make any uh, indents on it or any marks on the barrel if I'm moving it around or loading it or stuff. Um, and it didn't, um, which was really good. Um, this was about £5, I think, for the barrel sleeve. I got it on eBay. Um, it comes a lot longer as well, so I, this is about uh, two-thirds of the overall length. I've cut it down so it fits, so I can put my uh, suppressor on the end as well. Um, so this is the moderator cover. This is another um, Jack Pike um, piece of kit. To be honest, I didn't expect it to be as high quality as it is. It's super thick. It also helps suppress a lot of the sound from my barrel. As soon as I put it on, my friends noticed that I'd done something. They thought that I'd got a larger suppressor, but I haven't. It's uh, just the fact that it absorbs a lot of the sound. So it comes with this Gore-Tex cover, um, which is just a cool little addition. I didn't know they'd come with it. Uh, this is probably going to help from any sort of weather or rain, and it's also going to mean that you know if. Um, it's lent on anything, it's going to give you that added little piece of protection. So if I take the Gore-Tex cover off, you can just see it's just a simple sleeve that sits over the end of the moderator cover. Um, uh, and this is the cover itself, it's super thick neoprene. Um, it's got a small hole in the end, don't worry, it's not loaded and the safety is on. Um, but you can see, just to shoot through, um, works really, really well. As I've there, I've cut this down a little bit as well, I think I've got the uh, off cut of it here somewhere. So you can see how long it was originally. So it's going to cover anything up to, I'd say, probably 270 mil. Um, I've got 240 mil silencer on here. So um, if I remove this, you can see um, super thick. Um, probably going to protect it from weather. It's going to stop it if I rest it on anything while I'm out in an urban environment 
or if I'm uh, you know, moving into a base or anything like that where I need to rest the gun on something quite hard, it's going to stop it from getting scratched. So I think this is about £7. Um, really happy with this. I think it works really, really well. As I say, it's um, not. It's going to protect my gun from any damage. Um, also from the weather and stuff like that as well. I'm hoping it will keep my kit uh, rather dry. I noticed that the gun got rather muddy last time I took it out. So, um, you know, just laying it down. I've had mud a lot of bipod legs. You know, and as you move your hands around on the gun, holding it in different positions and you know leaning it against different items you find that uh, you know you're going to keep all of that muck off of the gun so they're the jack pipe products that i've used so far i'm really happy with these um, the tape wasn't really for me but uh, these are fantastic i would recommend them to anyone they come in about three or four different camo patterns as i say you can uh, check them out in the link in the box below if you have any questions about these products what i've done to them um, putting them on how to apply them anything like that feel free to send me any questions that you have or just drop me a comment and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can um, i will be reviewing some more kit i've got uh, my vest radio and stuff like that uh, videos for them done now so you might want to check them out as well if you're interested in airsoft um, if there's any kit that you'd like for me to review, um, I'm going to get my pistol back. I've had the uh, seals done on the magazine, so hopefully they should be back for me to review as soon as possible. Um, and I've ordered some more kit as well. So that should be in the next two weeks. As soon as that arrives, I will be showing you how to install it. I've got spring. Um, I'm going back to my old cylinder head uh, on my piston. Um, I'm going to have the gun completely apart. I've got some new hop-up parts as well. So I will be putting this all together. I will be doing a video of how to take it apart, how to put them in. Um, everything will be coming to the channel as soon as it's done so uh, stick with me guys it's uh, just the beginning I'm just trying to get as much information on here as I can for you guys um, so stick with me thanks for watching this video as I say if you have any questions feel free to send me them thanks guys